What's up guys, Matty here. In today's video, we're gonna check out a new plugin from Sonable called Pure Unmask. Now, as you might've guessed, this plugin is gonna be used to unmask competing frequencies within your mix. In today's video, we'll go over the plugin really quick, use it on a mix, and then compare it to one of my other favorite unmasking plugins. Let's go. Here is Pure Unmask. It's a super simple plugin, and it really only takes like a click or two to make it work. The part that's difficult about it is just getting your mind wrapped around of the routing. It's all based on sidechain. So in this example, we're gonna use it in a way I use unmasking type plugins a lot, which is with a kick and an 808. So what we're gonna do is every time the kick hits, the 808's gonna duck, okay? We have pure unmask on the 808. This is like the mind twist of it all. You have to select the track that's being sent to it, not the track that it's on. So it's on the 808, but I'm gonna select kick because that's the side chain that's coming to it. And to me, I did all just kind of twists my brain. I understand why it's like that, but it just kind of makes my brain hurt when I have to do it. Anyway, once you do that, you have to side chain. In Studio One, it's pretty simple. You click this and hit send for the track that's gonna send to the side chain of the 808. So now that is all set, and I'm gonna hit play and hit the record button and it will start figuring out which frequency it wants to duck. Okay, so I fast forwarded it just a bit because it does take a while for the kick to every time it hits, it needs to trigger the Sonable engine and it takes a little time. So we have gotten it to work. And now let's play it and we'll hear the what it's doing with the 808 being ducked at. Okay, so as you can see now, it's unmasking at 50% or whatever it is, and you see this little frequency being ducked down. There isn't a whole lot of visual representation of what's happening here. And I wish it would tell me at least what what like frequency that it is ducking, but but it doesn't. And, and it's made to be simple, and it's, it is very simple, almost too simple in my opinion. Let's play it. We'll crank up the, uh, the masking, the unmasking. And then if you see this button, if you're new to Studio One, this is bypass. I'm going to bypass it on and off so we can hear what the 808 is doing. I'm also going to loop just as two bars because I find looping a smaller section makes it easier to hear what you're doing. So you can hear what it's doing. It's definitely ducking the 808 out when the kick hurts. And when you, you bypass it, you don't hear the kick quite as prominent as you do when it's on. Let me just solve the 808 so you guys can probably hear it a lot closer to what it's actually doing. So you can hear it ducking out a lot clearer when it's just soloed. So it definitely does what it's supposed to do, which is great. It's a really quick way to do it. Now there are other tools that can do this if you already own them. Uh, the plugin I've used forever is Soothe 2 and I have like a little bass setup, and it's just ducking the low end here. And so I can do the same thing. I can side chain this, the kick to this, and it's gonna give me the same sort of result. So as you can hear, it's doing the same thing. It's ducking out the 808 in those lower end frequencies that the kick's coming in. And what's cool with Soothe is I can hit Delta mode. You can hear exactly what it's doing. So that's the actual frequency that's being ducked and that's the frequency the kick's coming in. So, so it's ducking it 
Makes sense. So then the question is, is why would you need Unmask if you already have Soothe 2? Well, I don't think you would need Unmask if you have Soothe 2. But if you don't have Soothe 2 and you're looking for unmasking type plugin that's really easy to use, then it might be well worth it. Another thing is Unmask is only $30, where Soothe 2 is $209. Now you can use Soothe 2 a lot for a lot of different things. And I can adjust the attack and release on here and the sharpness and the selectivity. I can even mix it and so forth. So there's a lot more I could do with Soothe 2 compared to Unmask, but there is a quite a big price difference. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I think it's a great plugin for the money. Uh, it can definitely unmask things in a quick and easy way. Really great for producers or guys just starting the mix that want something that can unmask, but maybe isn't as advanced as Soothe 2 or you don't want to spend the money on Soothe 2. Just my opinion right there. If you need a song mix mastered, hit me up at mixandmastermysong.com. You can also find my courses and presets there too. Talk to you guys soon.